Chemical concerns are shutting down a strip mall indefinitely. The unknown threat is creeping underground and health officials don't know at this point the potential danger. It's happening at Franklin Village Plaza on Franklin Road. 7 Action News reporter Amira David is there tonight with the action being taken by the state. We'll take a look at this sign here plastered on the door. It says imminent danger notice. All the shops here closed up all because of Metro Detroit's first ever evacuation due to a vapor intrusion. And one woman who used to rent space here, she tells me she is horrified by the news. But it was very strong. That's how Lauren Slutsky describes the yeah, smell. She says she endured for two years. Definitely had an odor. She owned a kid's clothing shop at Franklin Village Plaza, the same plaza that last week was discovered to have a vapor intrusion. That happens after chemicals are spilled, leaked or dumped and not cleaned up. This plaza used to be the site of a gas station and a dry cleaner between the 1950s and 70s. The Michigan Department of Environmental Quality tells me they believe that's the culprit. Level at which you need to take an immediate action for PCE is 80. High levels of PCE and another chemical referred to as TCE were found. And while specialists were on the job to repair it, they found an underground tank with an unknown potentially hazardous chemical that a crew is out testing today. Slutsky okay. wants to know why all of this wasn't discovered sooner. We didn't know about it either that long ago. The testing had simply not been done. It's expensive, she tells me, and requires securing the proper funding. An Oakland County Health Division doctor tells me long-term risks of PCE exposure include color vision loss, also changes in mood and memory, while exposure to both chemicals can cause certain types of cancer and birth defects. It seems pretty serious, the chemicals that we we're breathing in, and I'm really scared about it. We do know it'll take 48 hours to determine the identity of the chemicals in that tank. As far as this plaza, it'll stay closed until they can determine the chemicals are not a danger. For now, in Franklin, Amira David, 7 Action News. All right, thank you so much, Amira.